Former Taiwan President Li Teng-hui has died at the age of 97 in Taipei. Mr. Li was Taiwan's first popularly elected president. He had been in hospital for months. Victoria Jen has more. There was no lack of controversies in the life of Li Teng-hui. The first Taiwan president elected by popular vote after more than four decades of authoritarian rule. Mr. Lee was often dubbed Mr. Democracy by Western media. But on the mainland, he was often vilified as a despicable separatist or father of Taiwan independence. Started his political career from the pro-China Kuomintang, Li eventually shifted his political position toward the pro-independence camp. In the last years of his life, he was better known as a mentor to Taiwan's first female president Tsai Ing-wen from the pro-independence Democratic Progressive Party. Mr. Li succeeded Jiang Jingguo, the son of General Lissimo Zhang Kai-shek, as president in 1988, becoming the first native Taiwanese to lead the island. That also marked the beginning of a divide on the island between so-called mainlanders, those who followed Generalissimo Zhang to Taiwan from mainland China in 1949, and native Taiwanese. While still chairman of Kuomintang, Mr. Li was credited for paving the way for the creation of a pro-independence party that eventually ended his own party's half-century rule on the island. As he solidified his power as president, Mr. Li became even more emboldened to push for the island's separate identity from China. Mr. Lee's 1995 visit to his alma mater, Cornell University in the U.S., sparked a major diplomatic storm and a missile crisis ahead of Taiwan's first direct presidential vote. Almost a year later, despite China's military intimidation, Mr. Lee won 54 percent of the popular vote, giving him a strong mandate to stand up to China. In 1999, he went one step further, describing Taiwan's ties with China as special state-to-state -state relations, setting off a pro-independence train of no return. Beijing was furious. In 给台湾后来的领导人，就是你是一个国家的，不用去对中国卑躬屈膝。自由民主万岁！Mr. Lee's self-imposed mission to break from China bore its first fruit in 2000 in the election of Chen Shui-bian from the DPP as Taiwan president. Mr. Chen advocated a radical pro-independence agenda that repeatedly invoked stern warnings from Beijing. Mr. Li was forced to resign as party chairman after he was accused of betraying the pro-China KMT by secretly supporting Taiwan's independence. And he became a spiritual leader to the Taiwan Solidarity Union founded in 2001 by his supporters to advocate the island's independence. He was often seen campaigning for pro-independence politicians, including President Tsai Ing-wen. Despite old age, he remained active politically and continued to make headlines and at times came under fire for his out-of-place remarks. Kuomintang 
growing up under Japanese colonial rule in Taiwan. Lee was never shy about showing his affinity for Japan. He had traveled to Japan several times after stepping down, meeting with Japanese politicians. The legacy that Mr. Lee left behind may be controversial, but there is no denying that his political pursuits had helped accelerate Taiwan's democratization, making the island one of the most vibrant democracies in Asia.